All right, this final game is going to probably be good, though. Both these guys have been playing well all day. They are on point, I would say. So it'll, it'll be pretty exciting. Are you short at all? I'm, a, I'm pretty short, dude. I'm five foot two. I have to look up to everyone. But on the right side, there, everyone's crotch is fist level. So I can just punch them in the balls. I think being able to punch people in the balls is a good thing. Puts them in their place. Like, they may have the height advantage on you, but you have the testicle advantage on them. Two testicles to none testicles. I wonder if this helipod would defeat these blues and pinks. It actually is struggling a little bit, but a reckless is mainly got taken care of. Some of his darts aren't being too effective, though. Yeah, both these players are just kind of greeting. <laughs> You're 5 foot 12. Yeah, in reality, I'm more like 5 foot 17, but, you know, I mean, we got people believe I'm 5 2, so that's cool, too. <laughs> Ty, would you rather sleep with a hundred calm monkeys or one enraged baboon? Uh, I'd probably pick the hundred calm monkeys, unless you mean sleep with as in sexually. I was hoping it would mean go into the the cot, fall down, and have or, and have dreams. Using HIV, what you have by round thirteen to defend. I usually like a zero one village and two razor rotors heli pallets. One at three two for camo detection, and one at three one because usually your opponent can't tell whether it has camo detection or not. And if they do rush with massive camels, then you just get the other one up and you're pretty much set. And those guys defend a lot. They defend a lot. Like your opponent needs to do a massive rush just to get you to boost. And then they need another massive rush to try to kill you. And usually that doesn't happen. Here comes the white balloons. Reclo's got a pretty solid defense. Oh, if Whale sent a few more whites, he probably could have actually forced the Reclo to boost. No, he's defending the lives lost. No, he, okay, he leaked like eight lives. That's not bad. Yeah, so Heli Ice uh, Farm is actually really good. Because you can just greed pretty hard. And if a big rush ever happens, which it generally doesn't, you could just get Ice Shards. And if it's a big camel rush, you could just get a fuck ton of 3-2 Heli Pots and you're pretty good. <laughs> yep, 10 more subs until we get that silver play button. Then probably another 100k until it actually shows up in the mail. I can't wait. It'll be cool to have an actual plaque of achievement from YouTube. Assuming they still do it, I think you have to, like, request play buttons now. That's why right here. Oh, boy. A Reclo, that's not a good... T okay, well, he's got ice shards. He should be able to defend easily. I was going to say that's a terrible time to get a factory because this round is deadly. But ice shards, they could just sell us far and get that and defend easily. And Whale's like, well, I'm sad now. Whale should have done a Camel Rush. Camel Rush could have worked really well. If you had, like, boosted Camel Rainbows at a Reclo, I think a Reclo would have had to sell that fact or uh, bank. Almost guaranteed. Maybe, maybe even, yeah, camel, just grouped camel rainbows, not even regen, I think would have done the job. When is battles giving, uh, getting a new tower? Probably in battles too, to be honest. And this battles probably isn't. Ninja Q is mainly focusing on that new game. And all their new games. Reckless still has really shoddy camel detection. I can't believe he's actually getting away with this. Alright, maybe, maybe Will's doing the right thing by showing restraint though. I would be... I would be this super aggressive fuck and trying everything to kill a fucking Ereklo with a, or weak along with Camel Balloons. Alright, both of these players got really good for towers, I should mention though. I mean, Ereklo has the excellent BFB killing tower, so Whale can't really BFB rush him. And Whale got an insanely good late game tower, that is the Monkey Ace, so he's gonna actually be able to defend so much longer. Like, yeah, sure, attack uh, farm mortar is not terrible for late game, but then Ace just makes it like 20 times better. So let's see if he defends this BFB without boosting. This ought to be good. Oh, Reckless going for multiple space BFBs. That can actually do some serious damage. Oh, he's actually going to boost one of these. Two Maelstrom's chilling here from Whale. Oh, one taken down. All right, now what about the second BFB? That one's a little bit faster. Whale's got to buy back some bloody Maelstrom's. To bl Maelstrom the bloody Moebs. While not being drained in the process. Uh, please buy more Maelstroms. You're gonna need it. There, he did get it. All right, he's Maelstroming earlier on... All right, yeah, it looks fine to me. I think he got it. Weak lines, gonna be careful of the ceramics. Looks good to me here. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice defense, though. Solid BFB defense. No boost needed. I don't know how effective this rush is gonna be, but I like the idea of it. Except... Oh, yeah, because Whale is effectively down on lives because a Reclo can just get a fourth tier uh, helipod and come back. So lives don't, roll doesn't even matter here. 
All right, let's see if we can defend this BFB. Oh, all, or sorry, ZOMG, and all these ZOMGs that Whale is boosting in. Oh, snap. He's keeping one farm just to prepare for any possible counter rush. He's like, I don't think a right click can defend this. I was going to say he could just use Bolt Pull to pull in everything, but that's a lot of Bolt Micro he's going to need. He's going to need a total of 16 Buccaneer abilities to defeat all the BFBs inside the ZOMGs. Oh, and, he's, and Whale's actually going to follow it up with some BFBs as well to really, really keep that boat busy. Doing a bunch of Maelstrom spam just to stay alive. And plus, he's still getting money for that one factory. Reckle's not even going to use the boat. He's just going to be like, all right, I'm just going to use Ice Shredding to defeat everything. Reckle is actually selling all of his farms to defend. He's coming with some Camel Leads in hopes that uh, 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 Reckle doesn't have the Camel Pot and Power or the Heli Pilots. If he doesn't have actually Camel Pot and Power there, oh, Whale's got to get Maelstrom barely in time and clutch you with 27 lives. Holy shit shit, dude. Uh, yeah, he's gotta go with, like, a lot of camels right now, otherwise he's screwed doing some mods. A whale's gotta defend here. Come on, just get the maelstroms going. Double maelstrom defeat all these ceramics. Whale's gonna want probably battle energy, I imagine, too, and get another maelstrom. There's the next maelstrom. Just hold off these ceramics barely. Some, uh, the, the, the Riga Rainbows are gonna be taken up pretty well. He's still selling rebind maelstroms. A reckless side is filled with mods, making it far, too. Getting another ice ability, taking all that down. He, a whale doesn't have the best camel pot power. He's gonna probably want a, a 2-4 mortar or something. And there's some mobs getting really far on a reckless side. Is his Archive going to be hold, able to hold off? These are some fast mobs, and it looks like he's barely holding off. More fast mobs, though, and it looks like Reckles giving that thumbs up, so that generally means that he did hold off, and Reckle is going to defend there, and Whale is just maelstroming out. It is over. The Heli Ice Strategy has won. Nice job. Whale's actually not dead here, though. This crazy maelstrom spam is funny as it seems, but he's going to be dead after that ZMG. How long can he defend with maelstroms? Let's find out, baby. <laughs> just draining himself of money until he's got that maelstrom. Look at that micro that go. He's got them fast fingers. The reckless just PM. He's got the motherfucking ice ability too. Uh, just just freezing everything. Ah, oh, shit. That's good. That's good. Look, look at these guys go. Look at him go. Just selling rebuy that ice ability. That's not going anywhere. Uh, Whale still could probably take those more. But reckless doesn't actually have more bot bar right now. Nope, he's giving up. It's a spam, baby. It's a spam time. Ah, <laughs> uh, good game. What's everyone else doing on this map? Well, we got the strategy I was using, and then a uh, different strategy another person was using. How did a whale beat Tyler? Well, it's simple. It's a water map, and whales are naturally skilled in water. So, clearly, he had that advantage. Dildabikes don't float. <laughs> Simply put. Although, if a dildabike could float, it would probably be the greatest invention known to man. You know, I guess you've seen those things, like maybe at like camp resorts where it's just like bikes on a floaty. You could you could make those be dildo bikes. Should have been a shark. Yo, but killer whales eat sharks though. So even then I'd be screwed. Killer whales are dolphins? What? Wait, is this true? Are killer whales dolphins? <laughs> Orcas or killer whales are the largest of the dolphins and one of the world's most powerful predators. What the fuck? They're dolphins? My whole life is a lie. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I just assumed there were whales for obvious reasons. Has whale in the name? Why would it not be a whale? <laughs> I'll get it. Damn. So I guess sharks beat most whales then. Killer whales are dolphins. So, what the fuck? <laughs> so that means they're pretty fucking smart then, right? Because dolphins are smart. Like, you ever see a dolphin do, like, addition and shit? Hell, I can't even do addition. Do you know, most dolphins are probably smarter than me. You know, those are some smart motherfucking mammals. So imagine a super smart animal that kills sharks as well. Like, holy shit. Also, holy crap, is Ados gonna get this bank? He's going for it. He's trying to get it. He's going to have to greed, though. He is way off that. He's got a motherfucking third tier bank. That sucks, dude. That is very unfortunate. Hey, he got it. There we go. Four tier bank on Ice Flow on round 17. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know if people get that earlier or later. I usually see people go mixed eco and then get the bank like round 20 or something like that. Because now, Ados is giving a hard time against his mob coming up. Like, he has no good mob pop and power. He's going to have to probably sell this reactor for some actual decent mob defense. But then what about the leads? 
He's just super fucked. It's getting boosted too. I think Ados is dead unless he sells his bank. There's no way he's defending here. Unless, if he manages to... Ah, he might actually have this. I don't know. Wow. Wow, he didn't even sell the bank. I think he collected from the bank, but he didn't sell it. Holy shit, well done. I can't, like, emote well done to him, but I can't give him a thumbs up. Shell Scorpion's going again, but now Ados will just be able to get, like, a, um... A, four, a third tier sniper. Get a 2-3 sniper duty. You're set against this Moeb. Easiest defense of his life. He's not getting it. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he's got this. Oh, he's got a second boost anyways. Chooses to do it. Destroys that. Nice job. Well done, honestly. Oh, and the BFB is real now. Ados is like, hey, I got money. Let's send a BFB. We're going to boost it too. Shadow Scorpion has a double stole and tack shooter though. So I don't know. I feel like Shadow Scorpion should be able to defend this pretty easily. He does have 1200 eco despite sending two mobs as well. So I wouldn't count him out. Like, he's he's got attack shooter. Attack shooter defends uh, this pretty well. Unless if Ados does multiple space... Excuse me, multiple space BFBs. Then Shadow Scorpion is probably going to get drained. No boost yet from Shadow Scorpion. He's got his attack shooter right there. Currently no money for Maelstrom. He's got two tax shoes. I assume he's going to get a double Maelstrom. Is he going to sell for that? He's actually going to try to beat this without the freaking boost. He wants a double Maelstrom right now. He doesn't have it yet. He's a little bit off. Double Maelstrom right now. It looks late. Oh. Oh. Wait, what about these ceramics? Holy shit, he might be dead here. Oh, oh. come on. Get it. Get it. Did he get it in time? He did. What a sexy defense. Holy crap. All out BFB rush coming in from Ados to Shadow Scorpion. Shadow Scorpion's got to do the double stall to be able to defeat these. Slow these the fuck down. Use all his money to defend. Oh, and Shadow Scorpion's got a counter rush. Both players are doing all in fast going BFB rushes because neither of them thinks he can defend. Shadow Scorpion does not think he's capable of defending, but Ados has both. He is able to sell that. Fast cool ceramics coming to Ados' side. Ados actually may not have the fire, but we just see 32 lives go through. Drops down to 6, down to 2, and the fast cool ceramics kill Ados while he's distracted, both pulling the BFBs. What a come from behind victory from Shadow Scorpion. What a W. That was a sick game. Probably one of the best ice games I've seen in a while.